حوار الأصدقاء الأصدقاء بيس Welcome to Friends Dialogue. This is the dialogue from you and to you, from you taking your comments and to you and putting the comments again for the benefit of others. Thank you so much for watching and welcome the new subscribers. I hope you will find these episodes and my channel of benefit to you. Please remember those who are not subscribers, please remember to subscribe and hit the like button if you like the episode, every episode you like, hit the like button. That will give the channel a boost on uh, YouTube. Here I have Isam Zaki. Isam wrote the following. We Muslims supplicate before God for you for guidance. That means me. They are praying or supplicating for me. And we want you to know that our Islamic religion forbid us from kidnapping girls and forbid us from abusing, sexually abusing. And the new modern example for that are the Israeli girls with Hamas who nobody touched their hair. Okay, I would like you to search that correctly and stop being the enemy of Islam and Muslims. I advise you to know the truth and to study the Islamic religion without prejudice and watch the videos of brothers and sisters like Maryam Kapoor, Wadiya Suleiman, Gary Miller, Yusuf Estes, Yusuf Estes, etc. And inshallah, God willing, you will get to the truth and you will recite the two testimonies that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad, etc. And you will become a Muslim. That's my reply. I'm obliged to read the reply when I write, I write as a, I'm led by the Lord and with my thoughts. But for the authenticity, now I have to read what I have written. Welcome, Esam. It happened that I replied to some of what you have presented, especially concerning the crafty Maryam Gabur, who was a Muslim, originally a Muslim, and she had other two names. Scandal you did not pay attention to, or you ignored it, and you suffice that she, Maryam Gabur, attack the Christian faith, attack, attacks Christianity. I am not ignorant of those whom you mentioned. I remember uh, listening to Gary Miller, Abdul Wahad Amar, his new name, uh, 39 years back in Finsbury Park Mosque. He wasn't a Christian, but in the following traditional following sense. As for me reciting the two testimonies, the two shahadas, I am not a fan of Allah, the Allah of Islam. I was misled for 26 years, or I did have reciting that. And after that, the Lord guided me. And I say thank you to him for every blessing he bestowed on me on a daily basis. My God, who incarnated in Jesus Christ, is a living God, according to the testimony of your book. And after 53 years, imagine that, after more than 53 years, I enjoy this relationship with God. There is nothing tempting me to follow a midget religion, a ragamuffin religion. 
peace and love to you. Think, I sound. That was my reply. But at the same time, I'm a Christian. I'm proud of being a Christian. And I will not go back to my vomit. That's what we read about backsliding. We don't kill backsliders in Christianity. We don't kill them. There is no gospel text that will order or a saying of Jesus Christ that we must kill the backsliders. But we have this from St. Peter in his second epistle, chapter 2 and verse 22. He was saying that backsliding is like a dog went back to his vomit and washed pig went back to the filthy mud. I'm not going back to my vomit, what I have consciously vomited out of my life. But at the same time, I have great examples in the scripture and in life about people who walk with God, who spend their lifetime walking with God, walking according to his word, and with great benefit. In the scripture, I would mention one, one person in particular from the early book, the book of Genesis. So in Genesis chapter 5, it speaks of Enoch. Enoch walked with God 365 years. After those years, walking with God, can you imagine what happened? He kept walking with God. And God took him. He was found no more. We have no tomb for Enoch. Because this walk with God, God took him. It means God enjoys his presence as well. That is not strange for our God. He said, bless the team, Abani Adam. My delight is with the humans. God delights in us. And God delights in in our work with him. Hallelujah. That is wonderful. This is our God who took Enoch. This would remind me of a song written by the late Pope Shunuda. It's a wonderful song. We enjoy singing it. Pope Shunuda is the Pope of the Coptic Orthodox Church. Before the present Pope Taudros. May God bless him and lead him to be a true representative of Christ and of Christians. The song was Ya Sa'ah Liliqa Yasua, the one who is on pilgrims to meet Jesus. Do not care about thirst or famine. Your food is the bread of life. We are weak, and you will be quenched. Your thirst will be quenched by the water of the fountain. ويرويك ما إلي ينبوع ويرويك ما إلي ينبوع ويرويك ما إلي ينبوع طعامك خبز الحياة ويرويك ما إلي ينبوع Hallelujah This is a great heritage I have so nothing will tempt one like me to even a hint of considering a religion as such as Islam. I am satisfied in Jesus. And that's what I call you for. To come to Jesus. Embrace him as your personal savior. Enjoy his presence. Enjoy, enjoy this relationship. Be one like Enoch. 
that after years, short or long, you walk with God, you will be taken by God, you will be with Him forever and ever and ever and ever. That is eternal life to those who believe in Jesus, who put their trust in, in Him. Will you do that? If you have any questions, please write to me. I'm I'm Daniel. I love you so much in the Lord and see you again. Cheers.